it's definitely not uncommon this time of year to see some real problems in some soybean fields. Honestly, it was that way when I was a kid, but there's better options than walking those fields, that's what I can tell you. On this week's tech segment, I caught up with our friend Matt Foes from Northern Illinois. Matt's an accomplished agronomist and a farmer, and he's got a different way to attack these problem areas that's incredibly effective. Being a non-GMO soybean grower, I fight the same weed problems, giant ragweed and water hemp, but I don't have as many options post-emergence. So I have to look, to look around me to some of the options that other people in organics are, are using, and they're using a, a weed zapper to electrocute the weeds. So this giant ragweed here, 15, 20 minutes ago, was five feet tall and now is wilting down after one pass with the weed zapper. It's very effective. I see here you've got yours on a 300 horse tractor. It does take some horsepower to run the generator and run the system. Talk a little bit about how that works. Yeah, so a 300 horsepower on a 30 footer, probably a little more than necessary, but I wouldn't want to go less than 240. Large generator and transformer in the box on the back, and then a lead running up to a three point that comes with the kit to go on the weight bracket in the front. You simply go across the field and use the hydraulic center link to adjust the, the copper tubing on the front to be above the beans and hit the weeds that you pass. Matt, you've noticed some of your neighbors using this technology over the last several years. One thing you and I were talking about was even speed. If you're in a heavy weed pressure area, slow down, it's gonna be even more effective. Talk a little bit about what you've learned so far with this machine. Yeah, so if you're in heavy, heavy weed pressure, slowing down to that one and a half to two and a half miles an hour at the tops, let time go so that the arc can go through each individual weed and take a little pressure off the generator at the same time. Uh, when you're in lighter weed pressure, three and a half miles an hour is no problem. Uh, think of it similar to uh, running a 12 row combine across your field, three and a half miles an hour, 80 to 100 acres a day, no problem. Well, the interesting part about this technology is it's extremely effective. For This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby.